Good morning, Stingrays! Today is... <coughs> what is it? It is September 8th. That's a Tuesday. And that's why we're here, ladies and gentlemen. It's a school day, and that's why we're here. So, today's lesson is going to be all about negative numbers and opposites. So, if you didn't already, please make sure to watch the vocab videos that I posted. They correlate with this video and with the sections we're going to be working on this week. Okay? I made a separate video for each word. So, they're real quick, not even 15 seconds each. Okay? All right. So, <coughs> our lessons for today are all about negative numbers and then the opposites of that. So, up here, you see this here. You're probably very familiar. You know what that is. That's a number line, Mr. Nugent. We know that. We've seen it for years. True. And even probably a couple years ago, last year or the year before that, you started seeing this section here. <coughs> the negative section. Which, I mean, you probably do have an understanding. But I want to flip the script. I want to change your understanding of how you see it. Okay? So let's take it. Boom. Take it off the wall. Woo! Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to do this. Actually, this. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it. Okay? Because I don't want you to understand negative and positive as in right and left. That's not really how it is. It's more of an up and down kind of thing. So let's think. Here's my zero. Okay? Now, zero, think if you're at the hotel or you're at a casino. When you're on the ground floor, when you're walking in, you're at zero. Okay? And then you get a room. And you're going up the floor. So you're going up the numbers. Okay, you're going, you get in the elevator, you go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sorry the numbers are weird. I gotta work on the number line. I fixed that. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, until eventually you get to your floor, which is on the 12th floor. Okay? So essentially, you've gone up. You've added to your level. You've added to your distance from the ground. Okay, so you're at 12. Now, Obviously, to go back down, I have to subtract. So I'm going down, okay? So no matter what, no matter what number you start at, if you are subtracting, you're going down. If the end all math you're doing is subtraction, you're going down. If the end all math you're doing is adding, you're going up, okay? So if I'm at two and I have to add four floors or I have to add four, I'm going up. If I'm at... 14, and I've got to subtract 7, I'm going down. Because no matter what, adding is up, subtracting is down. That doesn't change when we get to these guys. Okay? I'm walked into the casino, I'm at the ground floor. They tell me my parking, my car was parked five floors down in the parking garage. So, I start here, and I get in the elevator, and I actually go down because I'm still subtracting, so I'm going down. So I start at zero and I go down one, down two, down three, down four, down five, to the, what floor? Sorry, the negative fifth floor. So if you think about it, even if I'm at zero, even if I'm at zero, when I subtract, I still go down. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. These numbers may seem like they're getting bigger, because the actual number itself is bigger based on your former logic of numbers. But this is why I'm doing it the up and down way. So you can understand that if I'm going down, even though I'm at negative 12, negative 12 is not bigger than negative 5. Negative 12 means you owe me 12. You are below me. You are down at the negative 12th floor. I'm up here at the negative 5th getting my car. You're down at the negative 12th floor working on this sewer lines or something, okay? So I'm higher than you. Even though I'm also in the negative, you're further down in the negatives, okay? So that's how I want you to start understanding negative numbers, okay? As an understanding of up and an understanding of down. Yes, that just fell on the floor, okay? Now, I shouldn't put that away because I need it for the next part. Opposites. Opposites are fairly simple. If you watch the vocab video, you should have an understanding of what that means, but take my line up again. Um, like I said, I was picking the car up on the negative fifth floor, okay? But my wife, she's up, she's up in the hotel. She's on the fifth floor. She's the opposite of me, okay? So five 
and negative 5 are opposite. 4 and negative 4 are opposite. 100 and a negative 100 are opposites. Okay? Not a very intense lesson for today. Um, I'm hoping I have time to edit this, put a little of that editing magic. Uh, but overall, this is your lesson for today. Negative numbers and how to understand them as you know, you're going down, getting further down. So if it's negative 70, negative 70 is further down than negative 20. Okay? Even though 70 is bigger than 20. Don't think of it that way. You're further down. Um, and opposites, just the opposite of what, you know, if you had a negative 7, you have a 7. Those are the opposites of each other. They, they are both equal distance away from 0. Right? Go Stingrays.